Kenneth is is new here. As I said, he just joined. Kenneth, if you'd like to introduce yourself, talk about your goals, who you are, and what you hope to achieve. Yeah, sure. So I'm, I go by Kenny. Grew up in Hawaii. Been living in Texas for the last 20 years. I do a medical equipment sale. I sell ventilators. Used to be a, a respiratory therapist working in the hospital and then went into that selling the equipment and because I travel so much and eat all the time with clients. I've just gained, you know, like 50 pounds and want to get rid of that so I can uh, <clears throat> lean out, uh, have more energy be able to do my hobbies with ease and yeah like to get back in shape i've been the number one salesperson in every company i've worked at and i and i've got this this belly and and out of shape that i want to i want to dominate in that too i want to get get uh you know my physical shape and what uh, caused you matching what i do what caused you kenny to kind of gain all the weight in the first place bad sleeping schedule bad lack of discipline just eating just totally fall off the wagon traveling and yeah just no structure no structure just work concentrating only on work i'm gonna ask now like who can relate to that here (laughs) hands up (laughs) you're not alone everybody here was pretty much in the same spot and on the same journey yeah that's why it's awesome to have built this community yeah so you know everybody's kind of the same boat here kenny victor how are you good that's good have you started protocols yet (laughs) yeah i did i started this week of monday great putting down on my meals Gone down about six pounds. Down six pounds. Oh, one week. Hell yeah! How are you finding everything? How are you finding adjusting to everything? I'm I'm doing pretty good. It's been obviously enough to keep sustain not being hungry. Good. If you are getting hungry, let us know. We can easily manipulate food volume. That's an easy fix. So yeah, if you are having challenges, just shoot us a message and we can help there. And Lewis, how are you, man? Good to see you again. Everything's going good, man. Nice to see everybody. My weight has been like fairly stagnant, but I. I know people haven't complimented him, compliments me at work by saying, oh, you look way more fitter and stuff like that. So that's, yeah. that's good. And I feel better and I'm sleeping better. So how's your strength progressing in your energy? I'm getting stronger. Yeah. I'm getting stronger. I've had, I've done like more reps in the gym and I've took the advice from last week's call and implemented it into our, into my training. And I'm, I'm lifting heavier now. Awesome. That's, going that's, up. that's exactly what you should be doing. That's awesome, man. I'm glad to hear that you're getting stronger and Sometimes our weight like is like that. It will never be linear. You will kind of go up and down. But as long as it doesn't last for more than multiple weeks, it's nothing to worry about, right? You can gain literally six pounds overnight, three pounds overnight if you eat too eat too late or you don't go to the bathroom. That's why we look at weekly averages because that will create the most accurate results. Jared, good to have you here. How are you? All right, hey, I'm just going to say hello real quick. I'm at work right now, so I'm listening in and already, like, I haven't even started yet, and already you guys have already inspiring me and stuff, so... um yeah, just say, I'm, I'm Darren, hello. I'll be doing doing weight loss, trying to lose some weight here. I, we don't want to disturb you, but it's cool to have you here listening in. Uh, the last win that I had was that I finally broke under the 290 yeah. club. And I was kind of floating between like that 289, 291 for yeah. the past couple of weeks. My diet was getting better and then training was also getting better. But this week has been killer, man. I've been averaging 10,000 steps the past I few see days. You, man. I see you on Instagram. You know, yeah, and, and I love it because you know, that's like my accountability. Yeah. That's more for me, and so yeah. you know, I'm like, hey, I can't fake the funk with my with my rings, yeah. so that's why I do it. And so, um, yeah, I was kind of kicking myself in the butt yesterday because I was like, man, I don't think I'm gonna I be able that. to hit my goals. But this week is good. So, what are you yeah. sitting at now? I didn't have my scale today, but the last weigh in was two eighty seven point three. So, a total of uh, about yeah. seventeen pounds down already, so, dude. I feel amazing. Yeah. I feel amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so good. So CJ lost 20 pounds in the first four weeks, um, which is insane. He looks crazy. And yep, he's just coming out of the gym. How was the gym? Good. It was, I was just chilling out today. Just oh, did the sauna. Nice, nice. Any any wins, any updates for us? Take a link off my my uh, my watch so it can fit better. Oh, nice. That's awesome, man. Well, it's good to have you here for tuning in. I appreciate it. But yeah, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> Today, no real structure. Just more of like a check-in, maybe just like a Q&A. Everybody here comes from such awesome different backgrounds in terms of career in terms of culture so it'd be cool for everybody to just really connect and strengthen the bondship of you know the bond of the community get to know each other a little bit more and the way to really do that is just to be able to share some hardships some struggles and maybe some pivotal moments in their lives that have maybe contributed to the success of their career or just to their changes would anybody here like to share some previous experiences or maybe even some you know traumas issues if, if if nobody feels comfortable i'm I'm happy to go first yeah i'll, yeah. I'll go first hell yeah thanks let's do it 
Uh, all right. So like, um, 42 year old dad of one, my son's autistic and he was kind of the kicking point for when I really wanted to, you know, get in better shape for him. There was a point where I looked in the mirror and I was just not happy. I tried all the fads. I, I was doing keto, carnivore, tried to be a vegetarian for a bit, but that's, that's really hard if you're Filipino. <laughs> that, that was a hell no. <laughs> and then, um, and then like, keto did work for a while. I told Alex, like, I looked great. I felt great. But uh, mood wise, no, I was, I was a terrible person. I was a jerk. And then, and then, uh, yeah, then my, my weight just, it went bad. My health went sideways. I was in the ICU, ICU a few times. And then, um, I kind of just gave up. <laughs> I mean, at work, I was still doing good. I threw my focus into, into my job and my kid. And, but then there was, there was a couple of times where my kid does sports to develop that social aspect for him. I couldn't keep up with them. And that, that, that really broke me. Mm. And they come in and waking up and realize I come from a strict military background. I was prior service uh, in the Navy. And I just, you know, I was like, what the hell? I let myself go so bad. I, I had it and then I lost it. And then I came across Alex's post, checked him out on IG and YouTube and, you know, tried copying your workouts. And then like listening to him was like, it's like, it makes so much sense when you like sit down and think about it. It's like something everybody should know, but doesn't want to wake up to. Yeah. And Dex, I want to yeah. dive deeper, man. I want to dive deeper on like letting yourself go. And I think everybody here, they have, they all have kids. Like, how did it make you yeah. feel as a father, as a husband, as a man? Like, oh, like as as a man? Uh, okay, so getting older, gaining weight, and then just I, I didn't feel like I was a good husband. I mean, there was a point where I thought my wife deserves better, and I was gonna leave her, you know. And that was on me. That's such a stupid mentality when I think about it. But mm. that's how pathetic I felt mm. at work. I was unsure of everything. I didn't think I was a good dad, which. Mm. You know, like my son is so much better. When I think about it, I hate that I let myself get that far and get that pathetic. When, you know, to me, that's not the ideal of a man. You know, it's supposed to be the pillar, it's supposed to be the provider, the the guide, the protector, you know, all those things. And the leader, yeah. And, and yeah. now, and it, Dex, how are you feeling? And now, my wife kind of, she's annoyed by me now. She's like, you're too cheery. You're too happy all the time. <laughs> you <know? laughs> you're always talking about your Discord guys. I'm just like, mm hmm you know like i was telling her about cj yeah. i was like cj is inspiring he's like like he was this much now he's this much oh he was in vegas i know we had to do that thing for mom but we should have gone and seen him i wish i got to work out him you know and then and then i was telling her about teddy and luis and um ryan and then talking about alex and, oh, alex is filipino yeah you know and then and she is just like cracking up and that's awesome man. so roles kind of reverse yeah that's so awesome yeah now now you're too happy <laughs> yeah 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 Hey, rather but be too happy than too sad, right? Yeah, it does make the wife a little happier. And like, these are the stories that really matter. Like, everybody here wants to lose weight, but what really drives it forward is why. What's your reason? And thanks, thank you for sharing such a vulnerable story. And man, if anybody else would love to share, just to kind of, you know, create that level of relatability. You know, I, I've actually been having a lot of conversations with like my close friends. Like, and it's crazy how it's been within this week. You know, we've been taught, they've been, uh, you know, complimenting on like, dude, you're, you're in there, you're locked in, like, we're proud of you. And these are people that have been telling me, like, kind of trying to coach me as I was getting bigger, but I just wasn't listening, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I was telling them about like, you know, Naz and Alex, and like, kind of the program. And I'm like, you know, what's crazy is like, I feel like I've learned so much more than just like, um, fitness stuff. Like, I feel like I've picked up a lot more, a lot of better habits, you know what I mean? Like uh, something that seems so uh, basic as using your calendar and, and ironing out and uh, really laying out your days. Like that was something I never thought of. And as soon as like Alex kind of, you know, laid it out for us in one of the calls and I was like, oh shoot, why don't I do that? And then since then it's been, it's been a night and day difference, Alex. When we were having our first calls, Alex, like I told him like, my excuse is I don't have time for anything. I don't have time to meal prep, no time for the gym. I spend all my time with my girlfriend and all this other stuff. But then as I started laying things out, I'm like, okay, wait, I have, I have time to prioritize for, for my, my family, prioritize with my girlfriend, meal prep, going to the gym. And then even like stuff that I feel like I need for my own nurturing, which is like reading, get into like mental books and things like that, you know, just bettering myself overall, you know? Yeah. Um, but I mean, think about that. It's like in two months of being with the program, like that's changed me drastically from, you know, being sad and, and, and like unmotivated to now, like I'm hungry to like do something, something great, you know? And I would, yeah. Similar to Dex, like I'd love to hear, you know, how it made you feel prior. Like, 
you know, being that way, letting yourself go, like how did it make you feel as a man and fulfilling your duty and services? Uh, now it's like, I feel so much more on point, mm-hmm. you know, um, because, uh, and it's great that I have the, the support system that I have because everyone's cheering me on. And so if I have to step away and do something, everyone's like, dude, do your thing. Mm-hmm. And then when I, when I dedicate my time back, because now I know like, how my days are structured, who I'm going to be spending my days with, or, you know, whatever the case is, I'm able to dedicate more of my attention and like, you know, focus on them, you know, versus in the back of my mind, I'm thinking of other things. Yeah. I think overall, yeah, I'm doing so much better with, you know, with everybody, you know, in general. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the chats are just, it can be used for beyond just training and, and fitness, right? Like, the reason that I was so inspired to create this and do this was because on my journey, not many people understood what I did. Not many people supported what I did. And it was tough. But nobody really understood what I was going through. When you have struggles, you have people that you can lean on and say, hey, man, this is what I'm going through. It goes such a long way. And especially as men, I, you know, it's not something we can really talk about with our partners. I mean, you can, but it's the response you get from them is not the response you might necessarily need or need to hear, right? Because they don't, <laughs> Lewis here is smiling, <laughs> because, you know, they're not going through what you're going through. They don't understand this pressure, this responsibility um, that we have on our shoulders. You know, we need to provide physically, you know, we, we have to work really hard to make money to provide for the family. And, but in doing so, you, you know, you let your health go and you, you become super stressed out. But then you also need to be there emotionally, but you're already dealing with a lot of stress. And then you have to be there physically, but you also don't have the time to look after your health because you're so focused providing financially, right? So it's just this cycle and like you can try to explain to them, but I guess hearing it from other guys and having other guys to speak to, it's, it's, it's different. It really is. And that's why it's so awesome to be able to, to build this. And that um, I guess because my journey, it's never been um, necessarily about fitness. Like I've always been in shape growing up but for me it was other areas that I lacked right and I was explaining this to Kenny um I had fitness in control but my relationships sucked my relationship with myself sucked my goals my ambitions and in a way I felt very restricted and caged to my routines Uh, and that didn't allow me to advance and grow into other areas but CJ before I continue I'd love to hear your story man I'm CJ uh, 46 years old. Well, anyways, uh, now I've always been a, a bigger guy. Part of it's just, uh, uh, the way I grew up, the way I ate in my twenties, I did manage to, uh, I mean, I lost the weight, but I got into, uh, in the restaurant business and basically gained a whole bunch back. <laughs> and mentally, I'm, I mean, I've always been good. I've been always been mentally strong. I'm the hardest working guy there. And I think just saying I'm busy was always been like a crutch mm. to like not do anything about it. Suddenly it's just, you know what? I got to do something about it. Like I keep saying, I want to do it, I want to do it, but never done it. And then came across Alex's uh, IG page, saw one video. I'm like, that sounds pretty interesting. And that sounds just like me, you know, guy over 300 pounds, just working his ass off, but uh, nothing really doing it with the health. So just really resonated. And so decided so just to join, just why not? Just yeah. jumped right in. Now it gave me uh, a program and it's super easy to, to go with. And I'm eating pretty good and I'm feeling great. So much better. Actually, that reminded me, Dex. Um, you had a couple health wins, man. Would you like to share it? So everything's everything's normal. <laughs> yeah. Like no no diabetes, no blood pressure, high blood pressure. Yeah, sugar levels are good. No, that's awesome, man. Um, anybody else would like to share? Please. So kind of like my my background, like um, there's a one point in like my life, like when I was in college, I was like very very underprivileged. So I was facing like housing security. One of the things I always wanted more was like food. And I told myself, you know, like once I get some more money, like the thing I want to do is like eat better. So I got my job. I moved my family out from like a bad area in LA and um, started traveling for work for like two years and a half. I lived out of a suitcase. Oh, wow. And then like I was eating like really good food, you know, and like going to fancy restaurants and going out and everything, just traveling, you know, just living the life. But I kept on gaining weight. And it just piled up and piled up and piled up. And I gained probably like, I don't know, like 50 pounds I gained. And then, and then I was like, you know what? Like, I need to start doing something about this. Like, this is getting out of hand. I was just uh, going through Instagram one day and I see Alex, I see his content and I just like see like one video and I follow 
And I'm like, ah, I'm going, I'm gonna go to sleep, you know, I'm gonna think about this. And I see that he messages me. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, fuck it. I have like, I only watched like one post and I liked it, I think. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Like this guy messaged me and let's hop on a call. I'm like, fuck it, let's just do it. Yeah. And I just like, I, I hop on a call with Alex. He's like, oh, you see my content, right? I'm like, no, dude, I have no idea like who you are. Like I just saw yeah. one post. I saw like, it was like, is it look good? I'm like, you know, I'm about it and let's just fucking do it. Yeah, when he said so, that, I was like, whoa, <laughs> you haven't even watched the other stuff, but I'm glad that you're able to feel comfortable and you trust me. That's awesome. Be careful yeah, I was though, like, to other people watching this later. Like, don't always do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it puts you in trouble. <laughs> but, yeah, but it's, it's been working out good. You know, I've been losing weight. Um, my wife has noticed I've lost weight. She's like, you look skinnier. My colleagues have noticed as well. It's going great and I'm very happy to be here and you know the weight going down. You know, I know it's not gonna be an overnight thing, but I'm showing up every single day and I'm putting the work in. And I, awesome. I am a high performer at work. And like everybody on my team is like super jacked. They're all like they're in really good shape. And like I was the only one who wasn't in a good shape. And I was performing at work and everything, but it's just I didn't I feel like I didn't look the part. And a thing too is like being a minority, like I always feel like I need to compensate. So I feel like I needed to like, you know, put the extra work in. So not only was my, my work product good, but like, I also physically look good, you know? hundred mm, percent. And it does translate. People do treat you differently when you look better. Uh, especially if you're in sales, like people trust you more. I don't know why you say something confident enough and they'll believe you because you're jacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. I mean, I was in a spectrum of being super skinny. Nobody gave a fuck about me, dude. Nobody cared. Nobody cared about what I said. Um, all of a sudden, Come, you come into a room, shoulders are peeking through your t-shirt, you know, even though it's like $5 from Target. People are like, oh, what are you wearing? Where are you getting it from? I'm like, dude, the whole outfit's like a hundred bucks, right? <laughs> it's not the clothes that make the outfit, it's you that makes the outfit. So the energy you bring in the room almost forces them subconsciously to treat or speak to you a certain way. And unfortunately, that's the sad reality we live in and we can all sit here and say, yeah, body positivity, yada, yada, you know, 2024, but like, I think that's just for people who have become complacent that want an excuse to be like, Hey, just love me for who I am. And yeah, we can still love you for who you are, but love yourself enough to do something better for yourself. That's my belief anyways. And, um, I mean, there's been times where I've almost been canceled for <laughs> saying my opinions and, and thoughts on social media, but you know, I'm willing to cop it. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, especially in today's society, it starts to normalize weak habits um it starts to normalize low standards but again i was never really successful in anything else growing up except the gym but i really wanted to use that as a catalyst to help improve other areas of my life and you know fast forward today you know i manage a team of eight you know 25 years old i am able to look after my grandma who kind of like oh it's a touchy subject for me you know family but she didn't have much growing up you know what i mean so just being able to look after her and like Fly her here and stuff, man. You know, it's a privilege. It's okay, man. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's one of the reasons why uh, I moved to Vegas too. No, that's great, man. man. That's great. You can provide for your family. Yeah. That's man. that's uh, my dad, immigrant to came from India mm. to Hawaii, nothing, and so it's always good when the next generation you prove yourself as a as a man and make your parents proud. To be able to take care of others that's that's the whole point why they sacrifice right 100 percent, man i mean that's kind of what you live for and give back to your parents and then give back to your future kids and that's what i want to do you know and it's awesome to be able to help other people also just kind of get in shape man like growing up this is like a fucking dream you know and it's just all coming together now like after four or five years of just fucking sacrifice so i really appreciate everybody coming here and like but yeah, dude, like I think these these calls, you know, I think it brings everybody closer and takes things beyond than just like fitness, because I think fitness plays a huge role. Your health plays a huge role, but it's just a catalyst. It's a vehicle to other areas of your life. And like, I'm sure everybody here has their own motives, their own reasons. And I just want you guys to always remember what that is. Just remind yourself, like, why you do what you do, man. With that, thank you, as always. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for supporting everything. And uh Looking forward to helping you guys continue to achieve some goals. All right. Take care, everyone. See you next week.